Hi, I'm Dana Harvey. Welcome to 15 News. Chris Campbell is on location. This has been a very hot summer this year, but the weather has not discouraged people from rolling up their sleeves and participating in great causes. One such cause was the Rouge Rescue effort earlier this summer. Let's check it out. Years ago, the Rouge River was seen as synonymous with the dump. The river, which stretched through 48 Michigan communities, was so trash-filled that residents along many of those communities would complain about the stench. But things have changed, mostly due to the efforts of nonprofit group Friends of the Rouge, who have spent many years making the Rouge a clean, sustainable habitat for wildlife. The group recently conducted its 25th annual Rouge Rescue. Uh, Southfield is wonderful. They've always been, I think, proactive in trying to, you know, uh, work with the parks and with biodiversity, you know, work on um, keeping the parks clean and free of weeds. And I've uh, worked with Mary Carlock over the years, and we've worked together on the Bibrarian Woods, which is the rivers of Southfield. And that was just a wonderful uh, partnership working with the city of uh, Southfield to make that a public park. Numerous residents, nature lovers, and business groups volunteer their time to pull log jams, pick invasive species such as garlic mustard, and pick up trash and other debris. Uh, I'm kind of a tree hugger guy, <laughs> and uh, and like I, I, my uh, property is on Pebble Creek, so I have a vested interest in keeping the water clean and fresh and flowing. So, it's just I think it's our responsibility to take care of this earth and in. While we're here, we might as well enjoy it, keep it as clean as we can, and have it there for our future generations as well. well we're clearing up a log jam, so we're pulling out big trees, debris. We're in an assembly line, pass it down the line, hand it to, to everybody, and try and get it as far away from the river as possible. One long-standing tradition with the rescue effort is the participation of Southfield-based Denso International. For the past 14 years, the automotive supplier has supported the Rouge Rescue with financial contributions and hands-on participation with the cleanup event. Actually, it's been very good. We uh, like getting involved in these kind of community projects and really like to have the whole group out here. We've been doing this for 14 years now, so having everybody together and working as a team like this, it sort of helps us build our camaraderie within the organization, so it's really a good thing for us. It, we've been, as I said, the Rouge River Rescue for 14 years, and, and I think the main issue here is to just to clean the debris out of the river and give it a free flow. You know, with all the ash and elm disease we've had in trees in the past, uh, that's uh, been an issue here lately. Hopefully we'll get past that sooner or later, but all we can do is help keep the river flowing. I think it's wonderful and the enthusiasm of the people. They planted this in a half an hour <laughs> and it's just every year the Denso employees come out and they work with the city of Southfield and Six Rivers Regional Land Conservancy to work to protect this really unique and lovely habitat. While efforts to save the Rouge are year round, the one day cleanup affords volunteers the opportunity to see the impact of their participation. We've been doing this for 14 years, we've been here 25 years, and the relationship with Southfield has been very good. We continue to grow and we continue to look forward to the opportunity of having the relationship with the community. Really important thing for us, not just to be here as a business and come and leave, but to be part of the community. We really like that and appreciate Southfield's uh, help in doing that. So that's been a good thing for us. Well, we all want clean water. Um, we enjoy walking along the river and I enjoy see, listening to the birds and seeing nature instead of seeing um, trash. And, and, yeah. <laughs> and it's important for the fisherman, for example, who's fishing right here today. Uh, and um, if he does catch a fish, he, he shouldn't be worried that he can't eat it. Um, and, you know, the Rouge has had a, a checkered past, but uh, we have been cleaning up for years and years. And it is now, I know people are kayaking on the Rouge, which, you know, 20 years ago was unheard of. You know, people were not comfortable sticking a leg in the, the stream. So. <laughs>
I'm really excited. I'm really happy to be working with the Friends of the Rouge that organizes the, the Rouge Rescue Cleanup. I've been doing it for years and years in different places, up in Livonia and then here in Southfield. And I just think it's a wonderful opportunity to get people who usually don't get out to the Rouge to see it and to know it and to love it, and then come back and enjoy it. To learn more about the Rouge Rescue and other initiatives of the Friends of the Rouge, visit therouge.org.